Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a spring pathway in the woods. Colors you're going to need are white, yellow, green, brown, pink, red, and purple. I always use my favorite brushes. I've got my one inch flat brush as well as my six, four, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water as well as a rag handy and let's get started. I'm going to start with my one inch flat brush and I'm going to make my horizon line. So I'm going to use yellow paint for that. And my horizon line is going to be just a little bit above the center of my canvas. So just right above the center. Now from there, I'm going to actually make a big circle of yellow and everything outside of there, I'm going to paint in yellow. Take my brush, wash it off, and then I am going to paint the inside with white, and I'm going to bring that white out towards the edge of the canvas. So right in here is going to be white. Wash my brush off and dry it off. Now we're going to move on to the ground. We're going to add in our path as well as our grass. So for our path, I'm just going to lay it out with a light brown color, some brown and white mixed on my number 10. So I've got a lot of white, with a touch of brown. And starting right here at the sun, I'm going to make a long skinny letter S. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to make a long, skinny letter S. Now up here at the top, it's going to be super narrow. But as it comes down, it is going to gradually get fatter to show that there's some depth in it to it. So just paint this in with that light brown color. And then the rest of my canvas, I can use my number one round brush and we're just going to paint it in green. And these are both just base layers down here, the, the pathway and the green. So these are just base layers. So everything else is going to be green and then we'll let it dry and we'll add in some details. All right, let's let this dry. When we come back in, we're gonna add in some flowers and some trees. With a dry background, we're gonna add in some texture to our grass and our pathway. So I'm gonna take my one inch flat brush. I'm gonna pull those bristles open. I want those to open up so that I can have all of those little dots from the top. And I can use a series of yellow as well as green, maybe even a little bit of white to fill in my texture of my grass. And there's gonna be quite a bit of this. So if you have um, a larger brush, maybe a, a three inch chip brush or a one inch chip brush, that might make you go a little bit faster. Feel free to grab those. But we're gonna just take this texture and we're gonna fill in this whole entire space so that it is not a solid boring green. Which means I'm gonna put myself in a speed motion because this is going to take a while. Thank you. 
So with that part finished, now we're gonna go in and finish out our path. Um, I'm gonna stick with my number one round <laughs> flat brush. I think I said that twice now in this video. And I am going to have my bristles be pretty flat. And I am just going to tap back and forth on my pathway with some white, some yellow, some brown. And I'm okay if some of these colors go into my grass because my pathway is a, a dirt pathway and you know, it's in the middle of the woods. So there's probably not gonna be a whole lot of work going on to keep it precisely neat. So I'm just gonna kind of pull these. So my, my bristles are laid flat, a little bit of brown, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. And I'm just gonna kind of pull these colors out into my grass a little bit with these horizontal tapping or stamping. And then we're gonna add our trees in before we uh, let this dry for our next round. I'm gonna show you one tree and then I'm gonna let you kind of go on your own. You can add as many or as few as you want. But I like to start my trees off with a little bit of watered down brown paint on either my number four or number 10 round brush, depending on how big I want them. And these trees are not going to be, um, you don't, it's up to you how many you want, okay? But you can have some in the background, so that means that they're gonna end towards the horizon line here, and they're not gonna touch the top of the canvas when they're that far back. But I like to start my trees with the letter Y. And then from that letter Y, I add on just a couple more letter Ys, or maybe even a couple of you know letter Vs on here. But you don't need to have a ton of branches because we are going to be adding on a lot of flowers. Now this little tree is going to have a hard time standing because his base is so narrow. So what I like to do is when I have my tree drawn, I go back in at the top and I just kind of pull everything down to the base. What that does is it really helps areas like this where there's a gap. It helps those areas just kind of connect and become one with the tree. But again, I do have watered down brown paint. And if your brown paint is a little dark, you can add some white to it. If it's a little light, you can add a little bit of black to it. But by just pulling down every one of these branches, it really just kind of helps connect them all together. Make it look a little bit more like a tree. So like I said, you can put as many trees in as you want. You can do as few as you want. Your trees that are a little bit closer to the front, I'm gonna use the number 10 round brush, same thing. Um, these trees are gonna be the exact same way. These trees are probably gonna cross over each other, but it's gonna be a letter Y with some letter Ys attached. And then when you're done, start at the top and bring it down. Like I said, you could also even go in and add a little bit of white to it. If you want a little bit of a change in your color. But I'm gonna put myself in speed motion because I'm gonna add several trees. And then we will let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in all of those great flowers. 
Okay, we're gonna let this dry and we come back, we're gonna add in all of those flowers and all of those leaves. So we have our dry background. Now we can go in and add our um, flowers up on the trees as well as our flowers down on the bottom. And you know, you could do your flowers any way you want really, but I love to finger paint. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with the number 10 round brush, but then I'm gonna go in and finger paint. So the flowers we're using are gonna be um, some pinks and reds and some white. So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna set it down and just kind of pull some, some dots across. Pretty easy, right? The problem is, is that your brush is pointed, has the tip going that way. So if you do all of them in this direction, it's gonna look kind of weird. So you need to make sure that you turn your brush to go all different directions as you're doing it. Um, and it can even be like, you know, going straight up and down or straight up, but either way, rotate your brush as you're doing it. You can do um, pinks, whites, reds. I'm not even gonna wash my brush off in between. Um, or you can mix in some red and some pink on your brush at the same time and darken it up. But your goal is to fill in a lot of it, not all of it. Now, if you're feeling adventurous like me and you want to finger paint it, it's the exact same thing. Some paint on your finger, you just pull those lines down a little bit. I love finger painting because it really makes me feel like I'm getting into my art. And um, well, that's what I like to do. I like to be a part of what I'm making. And so I do like to finger paint it. So I'm gonna go in and put myself in speed motion using pink, using white, and using both pink and red on my finger at the same time. And just kind of filling in this tree area. So let's pop into speed motion and get these guys filled in. With all that done, now we can talk about our flowers on the ground. You can add these or you don't have to. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my number four round brush with some color and I'm gonna do some red, some yellow, and some purple. And I'm just gonna set it down and kind of pull a small line down. And so these are gonna be slightly random. Remember, we are in a little wooded forest here. And then once I get an area done, I'm gonna wipe my brush off and go back in with some white paint. I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to each of these. a small little line of white and I can do that with my yellow my purple um, really kind of put it anywhere I'm a little worried that my purple is kind of dark so I'm actually gonna go ahead and add some white to my purple to lighten it up um, I want to imagine that these are light purple flowers that are popping up in my yard not dark purple flowers so there we go we're just gonna add some of those purple spots at least some of the yellow ones too. And then don't forget when you're finished, you need to sign your name in a color that will show up well on your canvas. I always like to put my initials in the bottom right corner. And um, don't forget the reason we do this is to see what you're doing at home. So be sure that you take a picture of the artwork you make and share it with us on our Facebook page, Painting With Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.